I have been banging on about these grip socks for about three months now. And yes, I have promised many people a review on these. These are the Wii Foot Grip Socks and we're doing the range. Uh, we've got the light, we've got the regular plus, we've even got some short ones. We're going to cover Wii Foot Grip Socks in detail here and straight out of the gate, I'm going to tell you that these are some of my absolute favorite grip socks. I am pretty picky with my grip socks. I've got nearly 80 pairs now, and these are right at the top of my rotation. If at any point you do want to pick up a pair of the Wii Foot Grip Socks, then I'm going to leave a discount code up on screen for you that you can use to get yourself a pair for a little bit cheaper, which is always beneficial. However, this particular video is not sponsored for, paid for by Wii Foot, but they did send me the socks for complete transparency. And if you are looking for that full tier list ranking video where I'm going to rank about 80 pairs of grip socks, then get subscribed to the channel. It's coming very, very soon. So we've got four different socks and they all have similarities. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the similarities first, what they all have in common, and then we're going to break them down. I'm going to tell you the differences and my personal favorites. Um, so let's just have a look at these. Now, these are all called the Wii Foot In and Out Grip Socks. And the obvious reason for that is because this is the out. They have grips on the outside. And then if we spin them inside out, they also have grips on the inside. And the grips across all of the socks are the same with a small exception. There is the In and Out Grip Socks and then there is the In and Out Plus grip socks. This is the in and out. And then this one over here, which you can see I have definitely worn a bit more, is the in and out plus. The plus being there's extra grips. There's just simply more grips, particularly these three on the toe here on the in and out plus. That is the only difference between them. And essentially those little grips on the toe are beneficial. They're helpful. So if we're going straight up one against the other, the plus is slightly better. But of course, the difference is fairly minimal. It's a few grips in one added area. Sticking with the grips, these are the same across the board, across all of the socks in terms of what the grips are made of and how they work. And this is actually technology based off what we thought originally were doing. So this is a polyurethane material that derives its history from a shock absorbing polyurethane material. It's actually quite a cool story, but we're not too interested in that. We just want to know, is it good? Does it work? And I think these are some of the best grips on the market right now, but very, very few. They are inobtrusive. They do the job. They stick to your foot. They stick to the boots but at no point do you really notice them or feel them. They're providing you that exact lockdown feeling that you're looking for, that additional bit of stability, but you don't even notice that they're there. And I absolutely love that. Now, they've not done anything crazy with the layout of the patterning of the socks of the grips. It's just this standard checkerboard pattern, but absolutely does the job. If I did have one criticism, it would be that the grips on the heel don't come up any further. They only come up to just the bottom of your heel. You get a little bit of heel coverage, but I would like to see them just come up that little bit further and maybe give you a little bit of grip into the back of the boot, into the heel, because that's where a lot of boots seem to fall down and a pair of grip socks can make a big difference there. Um, so I would like to see grips run that a little bit further up. But in on the whole, the comfort of the grips, the effectiveness of the grips, these are absolutely amazing. So I mentioned that they're in and out grip socks. So there's an grips on the inside and the outside. But they've thought about this too. Nine times out of 10, in fact, maybe 10 times out of 10, the grips you get on the inside exactly mimic what you get on the outside material, everything like that. Not the case here. We thought have thought this through. So on the outside, you have these grip, grip elements 
which have a slightly different pattern on them. It's a wider crisscross, I imagine just to try and get a little bit of extra grip on fabric, on material, the inside of your boots. Then on the inside, it's a much smaller dotted texture. And this just means that the way that it grips to your foot is better, but it's less intrusive. It doesn't really get in the way and it makes you feel like they're not there. It's really, really effective. And it means that they are more effective than a lot of grip socks that have internal elements when your feet sweat, which they obviously always do. So they're really good under wet conditions as well, both inside and out. That's the grips out of the way. Same on all the socks, absolutely top class. Let's talk about the other materials. And this is obviously gonna vary depending on the socks. We're gonna start with what is my favorite, and this is the Wee Foot in and out Dual Grip Plus Light Grip Sock. And that is this one here. And it's because I love a thin grip sock, a thin compressive grip sock. Light Guard, my top A1 favorite grip socks. We foot all of it very close to overtaking Light Guard with this light sock. It is a really thin material up in the neck here and it's very stretchy and very compressive. It's really good. It doesn't overstretch, it doesn't get baggy. It really forms to your foot. The sizing is excellent. Then it's exactly the same through the forefoot. Again, you've got a thin, breathable material. You can see through here that you've got a lot of holes for breathability that look absolutely fantastic. And then here, we've got a compression band through the middle of the sock. Again, a lot of companies do this, but this is a really high quality elastic material. It does not overstretch. It, you don't end up with bunches in your boots or up the back of your boots or up in the leg. They also don't fall down and they run a good amount up your leg. But that's about sizing, which we'll get to in a bit. If you like a thin, compressive grip sock with great grips, then the Wee Foot Lite is absolutely top class. And this is my go-to of the available options. However, I absolutely have to mention, so this is the in and out grip sock, and then this is the in and out plus. Essentially the difference being the extra grips, like I mentioned earlier. The material on these, these are definitely thicker. They're not overly thick. They're thinner than a lot of these crew socks with added grip elements that you get around the place that I don't love. These are still well thought out. The material is a little bit thicker. It's definitely a comfort grip sock and it's not quite as compressive. So if you don't want compression, this could be a good way to go for you. And, but you still get that elastic middle. It still retains its shape. You still don't get any bunching. And I feel like the way that it is built and stitched in the forefoot here, especially, is actually a little bit more solid and maybe gonna be a little more durable than the Wii Foot Lite. We will touch on durability just now. Overall, as you can see, these have been pretty well used, particularly the light, and I do not have a single durability issue. They have held up really well to washing, to wearing, all weather conditions. The only downside is that obviously they're white and you don't get a whole host of colors to choose from. And eventually getting white grip socks clean becomes almost impossible. But durability is great. Now back to the materials. So the in and out neck area. This material, oh, this material is delightful. It feels so good on your legs. It's not as thin by any means, but it's still not overly thick and it just feels delightful to touch. It feels amazing on your legs. And in terms of comfort, the additional sensation of having this really soft, stretchy material, which again, has a good amount of elastane. It definitely wraps to your leg. It doesn't fall down, but this diamond, it's like the Harlequin pattern, I suppose. I'm sure there's a name for this that runs all across this feels delightful. And I have to say, I hope that they keep that for a very long time. That is a beautiful, 
beautiful piece of material um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. If we're comparing, if you want a light compressive grip sock, which is definitely my personal preference, the Wii Foot Light. If you want a slightly more comfortable, slightly thicker grip sock, then go for the standard Wii Foot Jaw Grip. Okay, let's get into the fit. I've obviously made it very clear that it's very good when we were talking about the materials, but let's have a look. Uh, they do have an anatomical shaping, meaning they are shaped to the shape of your foot, and that's easier to see with the light. You can see how it tails off on this side. And of course, these three grip pads here are designed to sit on your big toe. So they are individually shaped to your foot, which means you get a better fit. And it's something that I think is overlooked in a lot of grip socks and could be very, very beneficial. So they have that, which is great. And then the materials, the elastane, the way they hold upon your feet, I've kind of covered it all. The fit is phenomenal. And again, I've mentioned it, the bunching, there is none. There is nothing worse than grip socks that bunch up at the back. And these don't do it. These are incredible when it comes to fit. Again, personal preference, compression, but for comfort, can't go wrong with these. And sometimes on particular days, I'm like, oh, actually, I could go for the, the standard wee foot. Really, really comfy, really great. So let's tier rank these grip socks. Now, as I say, there is a huge 80 pairs of socks tier ranking video coming like the video get subscribed for that but if it wasn't clear already these are absolutely top tier grip socks these are foot snow foot fetish i was gonna say foot spa foot fetish is the top tier a name i've regretted every day since i came up with it foot fetish grip socks they are amazing however we do have to discuss one more thing, which is the only dampener on this grip sock party that I'm having right now, and that is price and shipping. These socks are on the more expensive end of things. However, definitely not the most expensive socks on the market and at their price range, which is around the 25 euro mark, they are some of, if not the absolute best but 25 euros for a pair of grip socks is of course expensive like we have to admit that it's a pair of socks and it's going to cost you 25 euros then on top of that they are an international company the shipping for a singular pair is around 10 or 11 euros so you can be up towards 37 38 euros for a singular pair of socks which is very expensive now of course use that discount code that i mentioned before i'll put it back up on the screen now and i would say it's another one i say this a lot about grip socks it's worth either getting a few people together or doing it yourself and ordering more than one pair because say you go from one pair to four pairs the shipping cost only goes up by a euro so it is more beneficial for you to buy more but then of course you're spending even more money. Uh, so for the socks, I absolutely cannot fault them. They are absolutely some of my favorite, my go-to socks. But for pricing and shipping, obviously I'm talking about shipping to me in Ireland, uh, shipping into the EU, it is on the expensive side. If you want the best of the best, definitely try WeFoot. Also, something that I seem to have forgotten to mention is that these come in sizes you can get small medium or large to fit your feet check their size guide and that again something absolutely essential is there's nothing more annoying than one size fits all grip socks because the majority of the time i think almost every time with the exception of one or two brands that i've ever tried they're not one size fits all they certainly don't fit me i have a smaller foot just end up being too big so uh yeah pick the size you want and it's a win. There's nothing more to say about that.